We understand Nestle may be negotiating to sell its skincare business to a private equity firm for a tidy sum of 10 billion Swiss francs. And Brooke Sullivan is here to tell us about it. Right, which is a really actually good price for this business. So it's interesting because this was previously thought to be a growth business for Nestle. Uh, they made some uh, deals in this space to sort of really expand this, including buying out some brands from L'Oreal. Uh, but Dan Loeb came in and sort of asked yeah. the question, why is Nestle in the skincare business? It's predominantly known for food and beverages. And so he has, of course, been pushing the company to make some changes. It now looks like Nestle is moving forward with divesting the skincare business to EQT for about $10 million. So we can see Nestle is trading up, perhaps on this news. Is that because it was dilutive in terms of earnings? I mean, was, it, was the margin for their skincare business lower than what the rest of their business was? No, I mean, this was a growing business. I don't think it was a bad business. I just don't think it was a great fit with Nestle. And I think what you now have is you have a lot of money coming in. And Nestle has accelerated its share buyback program, which the current one was about $20 billion francs. So the thinking is they could use this influx of cash to buy back more shares or possibly to do an acquisition that would sort of complement their existing businesses. Remember that they bought the rights to market Starbucks coffee yeah. for $7 billion, so perhaps something along those lines, or in pet care, which we've seen a number of consumer goods get into. I, for one, maybe hope they don't get into pet care because a lot of those deals have not exactly been slam dunks. Mm -hmm. Well, fair. What I find interesting is that the, it, there was a lot of bidders in this process. Like, it wasn't just you know, whoever won, it was KKR, there was uh, Colgate Palmolive, there was Unilever, like that also kind of bodes, I wonder if that's specific to the asset or if that's a better market environment. One of the things that was interesting to me is that private equity firms were interested in different pieces. So some wanted the consumer part, some wanted the Galderama, the more uh, medical side of the skincare business, which tells me, you know, for EQT down the road, you can probably market some of the pieces of this or you could take it public and there's gonna be some interest in potentially divestitures as well.